Today is a very sad day in Thailand. A great man, a great father, a loving father, and the greatest of kings has passed away. His Majesty the King, King Booby Bob Ajayev, Rama the Ninth, passed away yesterday afternoon at 2.52 at Siri Raj Hospital. He passed away peacefully. His family were there for his last moments. Today is indeed the saddest of sad days for Thailand. This man was a great king. He is the world's longest reigning monarch. He has been on the throne for almost 70 years. He died at the age of 88. This man, this great king, was loved throughout this country. He was the father of the nation, the soul of the country, and now he has left us. He provided inspiration and love for his people since the day he ascended the throne of Thailand. He is well and truly loved by the people of Thailand. He has been their leader and their loving king for many, many years. His passing has left great sorrow over this country. The country is in mourning. I really don't know what to say to pay my humble respects to this great man, this great king. I know in my life that he had been very meaningful. I have never had the opportunity to meet him, but I have seen him and been close to him. 10 years ago, I had the honour to be in attendance at his 60th anniversary of being on the throne. This was a great day in my life. It was a great day for Thailand. But today we all mourn his passing. There can be no man who can fill the shoes of such a great person. Now this country will mourn his death. Thailand will be in mourning for a long time. For 30 days, there will be no entertainment. There will be no television programs that portray entertainment out of respect for the King's passing. He has left a great hole which may never be filled in this country again. He provided inspiration to his people. He worked all his life with great dedication and love for his country. He worked with the poor people. He worked with the rich. His whole aim was to make Thailand a better place. This he did. He has built great bridges, not only physical bridges, but mental bridges. He has united this country together where, where, where once they were ununited. This great man is loved throughout this country. Everywhere you go, you see pictures of the king. Every household as pictures of the king. Every great building in Thailand has pictures of the king. Now we must mourn his death. Today I will, I will try in my humble way to show respect to this great king, this great man. It's not only Thailand that is mourning him. Great leaders throughout the world, great kings and queens throughout the world will honour his passing.
we all hope and pray that he has now found peace. He passed peacefully yesterday. We all hope that Thailand can now you know, move on. Yet a great gap has been created in his passing. For a long time, the people of Thailand will mourn his death. I remember one particular movie I saw of the king, and it was not long after he ascended to the throne of Thailand, where he was visiting a country region, and there was a, a very old woman bowing at his feet. The king leant down and picked up this elderly lady. To me, this shows greatness. Despite his rank, his place in society, his leadership of the nation, he could relate to the humble. This is a great man. Thailand will stop for his mourning. I do hope and pray that he has found his peace. He has contributed like no man, like no king, like no leader of a country I have ever seen in my life. In fact, he has been on the throne for 70 years, but at the age of 88, he passed away. He was to celebrate 70 years on the throne and his 89th birthday on the 5th of December. But unfortunately, he was taken away from us. Today, the country is in mourning. And we all hope and pray that this greatest of great kings, King Bubibol Ajayev, Rama the Ninth, the King of Thailand, has found peace. I do pray that this country will find peace too. He has given great honour, not only to Thailand, but to the world with his achievements. As the Thai people say, there is no greater king. He was the king of kings, as witnessed on his 70, as witnessed on his 60th anniversary to the throne. Kings and queens, princes and princesses, travelled from all around the world to celebrate that great day. To that today. They are in mourning too. I'd just like to make this video here out of my respect to the King of Thailand. I do hope and pray that he has found his peace, he has found his God, he has found his Buddha in life. Words escape me, gentlemen. I really do not know what to say. How can one speak of greatness of such a great man? Every day of his life, he dedicated it to his country, to his family, to his people. What a great leader. What a great inspiration he has been. Now a great gap has been created. May he rest in peace. God bless the king.